in this example, we have two springs. Uh, they are not identical. They have different spring constant. One is 6 Newton per cm. One is 4 Newton per cm. So in case you don't know, whenever you see this 6 Newton per cm, what this 6 Newton per cm is trying to tell you is 6 Newton force extends spring by 1 cm which means if we follow Hooke's law of proportionality or ratio is your best friend, 3 Newton extend half a cm, 12 Newton extend 2 cm. You got this, okay? It's like buying stuff. So we have uh, two different spring and a load of 80 Newton suspended from this composite spring. Okay, so the question is asking us, what is the extension of this composite spring? Well, this 80 Newton is not shared, uh, this first spring have to support 80 Newton. This second spring also have to support 80 Newton because one after the other. Okay? It's like when I pull out my water bottle, my water bottle support my water. I support my water bottle, which is supporting my water all together. All right? So let's, hmm, let's see. So from here, I can use F1 is equal to K1 X1. So... 80 is 6 times x1. So I can find my x1 in cm, which is 80 over 6. Um, and, uh, Sunday morning, you cannot do fraction. Okay, this is 13.3 cm. Repeat again, f2 is equal to k2 x2. 80 newton is 4 times x2. So you can find x2. x2 is 20 cm. So hence, total extension will be 13.3 plus 20, which is 33 cm. That's all. So as long as you know the main idea where if springs are or rods or material are connected this way in series, one after the other, they both have to support the weight. And then from there on, you can continue to operate as usual. Alright, that's it for this short and sweet example. Go try more questions. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.